My name is Heidi Brown. I am a urogynecologist at the University of Wisconsin, and my interest in ABL is taking care of patients who have a condition that's under-recognized and under-prioritized, and connecting them with all of the resources that are available. ABL affects all different kinds of people. Anybody can have ABL, and there are things that anybody with ABL can do to make it better. There are lots of different things that can lead to ABL, such as inflammatory bowel disease, irritable bowel syndrome, diabetes, neurologic problems, radiation to the pelvic floor, or trauma because of either an accident or a vaginal birth. So these things don't just happen to old people, and I think that's a myth. Accidental bowel leakage is the term that people who have ABL would prefer to use to describe it. If you say, do you have accidental bowel leakage, people will say, oh, yeah, that happens to me. I have that. I think that having this new term terminology to talk about this condition is going to really make it easier for us to start the conversation.